So this is a video for a few of my friends who know how to use Blogger, but when they post pictures, they get problems with the formatting, and who also might want to learn a few more tricks, such as how to post links onto Blogger. Now, I say this because I see a few of my friends' blogs, and they don't have any links, and perhaps that might help enrich the blog a bit to, to post links to things that they're talking about or um, to format the blog a bit better. So first of all, let me just go to Gex Gecko from the Bronx. That's one of my blogs that I'm a part of. And I'm going to make a new post. In the new post, I'm going to talk about, uh, let's just put freckles on our Rubik's Cube. And basically what this is, is my gecko. I took a picture of my gecko on a Rubik's Cube. So here's the picture of my gecko on a Rubik's Cube and I put it on my desktop just because I want to be able to find it easily when I'm editing my blog. So I go into my blog and I start to click the picture function and I want to upload the image so I choose the file. This is pretty familiar to anyone who's done this type of thing. You look for the image, you click open. Now here's an interesting thing. The default setting is none for when you choose to upload a picture or the default setting might be left. Both of these settings will allow the text to wrap around your image. This is not what you want to do because the text tends to get in the way of your image. The better thing to do would be to choose center. What this does is it centers the picture and it clears all the text from the lines that, that the picture takes up and it just moves the text down below them. So I want to upload it like this and I tend to choose large for image size because that gets the best results. So I upload image. So now in Blogger you have two tabs here. You have an edit HTML tag and you have a compose tag. If you click compose, you can actually see how um, it looks and how it will come out on the Blogger page. So if you start typing, you see that you can type above the image and if you press down, you can type below the image. So let me just type a bit. Um, so, I just typed on the top of the picture. While hanging out one day, Freckles the Crested Gecko decided to solve the Rubik's Cube. And then on the bottom of the picture, I typed, After many hours, he became known as the first gecko ever to complete the task. Now, let's say someone doesn't know what the heck a gecko is. And I wanted to provide them with a link informing them of what a gecko was. For example, on Wikipedia. Well, I would have to open up the page for Wikipedia such as this. I would highlight the URL for the page and I'd copy it. Usually it'll be edit copy uh, on uh, Windows. This is control C. If you hold down control and press C, it will copy. And on a Mac, it's command C. So if you go back to this page, uh, all you have to do is highlight the word gecko, click on the link button, and paste the link into that box. You can paste on a Windows using the control V. So you hold down control and you press V or on a Mac using command V. Let's click OK. So now let's publish this post to see how it comes out. Okay, this is how the post came out. While hanging out one day, Freckles the Crested Gecko decided to solve the Rubik's Cube. We have a picture of my gecko on the Rubik's Cube, and on the bottom it says, After many hours, he became known as the first gecko ever to complete the task. And if you click Gecko, Wikipedia opens up to the gecko article. And if you click the picture, this is pretty cool, you get a nice full size version of the picture, which is pretty awesome. Well, I hope I taught you a few things about how to post things onto Blogger. Uh, hopefully people who are having problems uploading pictures uh, won't have as many problems now when you upload them using a center layout then the words don't intermingle with the pictures they're actually above and below the pictures and just a side note you can also move the pictures while you're editing to exactly where you want it so if you're talking about many different things you could actually move the pictures to where you're talking about that particular picture in your blog an example of this would be in my latest blog on my site, 
on my personal blog where I talk about the like cast that was given to me by Ernie and I have a picture here where Donna's holding the plant but then a picture here where I'm also talking about the flower so it's two different pictures not side by side and not interrupted by any text on the sides so I hope this helps thanks for watching